Tesla Model 3 dynamic brake light coming to Europe? Why? Why, why not us? I'll tell you right after this. Hello everyone, this is Moshe the Electric Israeli. Thank you for watching my videos. And if you are new, welcome. Please subscribe, hit that notification bell. And to all my viewers, shoppers of my swag, Patreons, supporters, and video sharers, I must add. Thank you all. Today's uh, video is about Tesla Model 3 dynamic brake lights let me just explain before i explain what that is let me explain to you because when i uh, i obviously uh, born and grew up in israel uh, and i have to tell you in israel and in european countries the si the brake lights and signals you know the blinkers that you put on they are it's a different system in in israel for sure and and in many european countries this the signal that when you put your blinkers on when you're turning it has to be yellow, okay? It has to be yellow, whether it's on the tail light, and it has to be a light on the side. Let's say a little bit uh, ahead of the um, uh, uh, above the wheel, above the above, above the front left and right wheel. Uh, that is the law. It has to be yellow. It has to be a little uh, light on the wheel, uh, above the wheel, uh, so people can see. Uh, I was really, really stunned. I lived in America for almost 30 years now. I was really stunned when I came to America that the brake lights, you know, the tail lights in the back, that they, when you press the brake and the, the red lights come on, can also function as a blinker. So let's say you you stop on a stop sign, but you're making a right or a left, your uh, brake light also function as the uh, blinking light uh, when you're making a turn. I, and, and I I was really surprised because I'm I'm not I wasn't used to it. I'm used to it right now, but I wasn't used to it. Now some cars in America do have uh, the um, the uh, yellow uh, blinkers in the in the back and in the front, obviously. But it's not necessary. In other words, it's not required. Not necessary. It's not required. I never knew that. Uh, also, when you stop on the side, and uh, uh, you obviously in all countries, you have to put your hazard lights. But the laws in Europe and in the middle, in some in Middle Eastern countries, are very very strict. <clears throat> you have to put like um, also a triangle and those flares. It's not always the case in all countries in the world. So uh, in Europe right now. Tesla is rolling out and Model 3 is rolling out this feature. It's called the Tesla Model 3 Dynamic Brake Light. Basically, if you are driving, uh, let's say, actually I have the numbers, 30, uh, 50 kilometers per hour, which is 31 miles per hour, and for some reason you have to apply aggressive pressure on the brakes because something happened in front of you and you have to brake, two things will happen. The uh, brake light in the back will flash and then if you come to a full stop because you had to abruptly uh, apply the uh, the brakes uh, then the hazard lights will uh, uh, blink as well uh, automatically and they will stop only if you do it manually or you uh, press the accelerator now it's illegal in America you cannot do that in America in America the, the rules for hazard lights and blinking lights are strict you can't just do that in the middle of the uh, of the road unless obviously it's a rainstorm or snowstorm or something that you really have to go really slow and you have to put the uh, or you have a mechanical issue that you put the hazard light so people know that something is going on that you're going slowly and to be and to be careful but you cannot drive 80 miles an hour and put the hazard light just because you feel like it or if you drive slowly automatically the uh, hazard lights will will come will come up, do you understand? So um, that is um, that is uh, uh, a new uh, a rollout in Europe. Um, I don't know if it's possible to bring it to, I mean, technically it's possible. If it's possible to bring it to the United States um, uh, because of the United States laws, I don't know if it's a good idea even. I don't know if it's a good idea. Um, 
I don't know. I think. I, what do you think? I, I don't know. What, let's say I'm driving right now here. I'm driving now on a 35 miles an hour road, and um, and let's say somebody's in front of me, and then they're gonna have to stop because the, a deer is crossing or somebody or a kid running. I don't know. Whatever. And they have to really stop. What happen if their red uh, brake light will start flashing, and then the hazard light will start flashing? Will that make me confused? Uh, what's the learning curve? I don't know. I really don't know what my opinion about it. I just uh, saw it and I wanted to share it with you. Uh, 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 so, so you tell me what you think about it. Is that is that a good idea? Is that safety? As you know, as you know, here's what I, we know for sure: that so many um, cars, so many accidents are rear-ending. Okay, highways, local roads. Most of the accidents, somebody hit somebody from behind. That's always happened. And I, I think it's probably one of the top five of rear end of, of accident is rear ending somebody. So I understand why they're doing it. But I'm not sure if this is the way to do it. I'm not sure. I don't I don't know. Uh, so maybe you can help. Let me know what you think, guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Help me change the world by electric car. Time. See you tomorrow, guys.